Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, hi, my name is Menka and during this lockdown period, so many of you all have asked me, how do I remove my facial and body hair? So I thought, why not to share a video on this? So guys, tell me, why do you think that removing your body hair or your facial hair is important? Comment in the comment section and let me know your opinion on this. I think body, removing body and facial hair is important A because it, it makes me look more presentable B removing my facial hair makes uh, my makeup sit more beautiful and sit perfectly and C because of hygiene purpose now coming to different techniques of hair removal in market there are different type of uh, hair removal techniques from waxing to threading to shaving to laser now I'll be we'll be talking about each type of uh, hair removal method. I'll tell you my own opinions on them. So starting with waxing, there are so many different types of waxing methods as well as waxes. There's honey wax, there's aloe vera wax, there's uh, coffee wax, charcoal wax, and whatnot. And when you talk about techniques, Brazilian Rika and roll on waxes are newer techniques and less painful techniques of waxing. Wax strips like wheat are also easily available in market nowadays. So now let's discuss some pros and cons of waxing. Starting with pros, A. It slows the hair growth rate. B. Uh, it is less. It has less chemicals. And 3. It exfoliates the skin. Now discussing some cons, A, you have it causes a lot of pain to certain people, certain people can also develop rashes, 3, uh, some people also have bleeding uh, after the waxing is done and 4th, it is very messy, in salon it's still okay but if you try doing it at home, it becomes way too messy. So coming to my final opinion or my verdict. I'm okay with body waxing but I'm not okay with facial waxing a because the skin of your face is more delicate and smooth as compared to your body skin so you tend to lose the elasticity of your uh, of your face uh, face skin and your face will the skin will start sagging in the longer run so you can go for body waxing but not for your facial waxing I will never recommend that to you Coming to the second technique of, uh, of hair removal which is threading, it is very common and it, it has been uh, coming down since years. People, uh, people thread their eyebrows, upper lips and side locks. Threading is okay for a smaller areas but you cannot thread over a larger areas like, like the way you wax your hands. You cannot sit and thread your hands because it, a, it is very painful and b it takes a lot of time. So let's discuss some pros and cons of threading. Starting with pros, A, a smaller and a thinner hairs can get rid of easily like places of your brows. B, uh, if you know how to thread yourself, you are lucky enough. And C, again the hair growth is delayed just like waxing. So let's discuss some cons of threading. A, you cannot do it over a larger area, only smaller area is applicable. B. If the person who is doing your threading is not trained enough or if the attention of that person gets diverted, you are in a mess girl. And C. Uh, it, you might have some rashes or redness and also if not properly threaded, you might get cuts and bruises. So my final verdict is that you can go for threading for a smaller areas but not for uh not for a larger areas and again i would not recommend doing it on the face because i know even i used to get myself thread but in a longer run your skin will start getting sagged next coming to the my favorite method of hair removal which is shaving which is not loved by many my sister doesn't love shaving she hates it when i talk about shaving when especially when i ask her to shave um, but according to me, shaving is a most mess-free and painless method of, of hair removal. Uh, nowadays, brands like Gillette and all have come up with such good quality razors. Plus, they have aloe, uh, aloe stuff going on on the razor so that it brings some protection on your skin. People have certain myths about shaving that is a uh, hair grows thicker, dark and coarse. But I want to burst uh, your myth over here that it doesn't happens like that 
because when you wax you remove the hair from the root but when you are shaving you just move the upper part of the of the hair so what happens when the hair comes out it tends to be thick but it's actually not thick if you let your hair grow you will find that your hair is in the same is the same it's not it's not, it's not thick dark or or uh, coarse if you are uncertain about shaving and waxing what you can do is you can alternate every time once you get it shaved once you get it uh, waxed you can maintain it like that but i personally like to shave my body and my face the second myth is that the hair grows faster yes guys i completely agree with that hair grows faster because the hair is not completely removed from the roots but it is removed from the surface we just cut the hair from the surface so the hair comes out quicker as compared to waxing or threading or any other way of hair removing third is that you get cuts and bruises when you shave your uh, hair or your uh, shave your hair you do not get cuts or bruises if you do it in a proper way or you take some proper precautions while shaving your hands fourth myth is that your hair becomes like a manly hair no guys nothing like that happens i am shaving my hands and my body since past one year and my hair does not have not grown like men my hair have have grown as they were before and nothing like that has happened so let's discuss some pros and cons of shaving so starting with pros a you can remove it at any time that is you have an easy access all you need is a good razor and you're get ready to go second it's super fast method of removing hair third uh, you do not have cuts and bruises and fourth pain it's painless and rash free also the fifth one is that you do not lose the elasticity of your skin discussing some cons about shaving a you have to do it frequently people who are always on the go might face some problem like my sister who has to go to her office so she cannot she might have some problem doing it uh, uh, every alternate days so that's a problem for people who are on the go b you might have cuts and bruises if you do not do it in a proper method and third or c is that the skin might become dry if you do not moisturize it and hydrate it well after shaving coming to my view point i would definitely recommend everyone to go for shaving because it is painless and guys i have been through the uh, through all the phases where i've got my face waxed those who know me well they know that i used to get my face waxed and even thread so what used to happen because i am a sindhi hairy girl and i have a lot of facial and body hair so what used to happen uh, i used to get myself waxed 15 days later i used to go and get myself thread that was the frequency i used to get my facial hair removed but since last one year i have been completely shifted to shaving i shifted to shaving because this part of my face this one and even this one started losing its sensation as in if anyone used to touch me over here i couldn't feel anything so i discussed this with my sister uh, she then uh, she then saw a uh, beauty bloggers like malvika sitlani huda beauty that they were even shaving their body and their face so she told me that menka why don't you even shift to shaving why don't you at least give it a try you just give it a try see how your skin reacts to it and if it re- and if it's good you can continue with shaving so we went to momoso and i got myself razors from there uh, even i did a very very good research about facial shaving how to do it how frequently it should be done and everything about that and after that i started shif- uh, shifted to uh, shaving and guys trust me since then i have never gone back to threading or waxing because i feel so comfortable i shave my face twice a week and i i think that is enough it depends upon the hair growth so the fourth method of hair removal is laser now this needs to be done under some specialist uh, who is well aware of everything 
even i am looking for someone who can do this and if you are in kolkata or if you know anyone from kolkata comment in the comment section and let me know all i know that this method helps to remove your hair permanently um and even i am doing my own research on this so when i get it done i will take you guys along with me now let's see how i remove my hair hmm i wash my face with clean water i do not use face wash and then i use such kind of razors which are from miniso or momoso they come in this form and usually in a pack there are two or three i don't remember so with such razors it's easier to travel also because the, the blade goes inside this so you can travel with them uh, and now what you have to do is please do not be very careful and gentle do not hold the razor from here try holding it from the end so that with you uh, with there's a lightest pressure you have applied on the razor and what you have to do is just take the razor like this and then start moving down with your other hand pull the skin down so that uh, it's easily uh, it so that it's easier to do and please do not hold the razor like this may take it a little bit slanting i shave all my face to remove that peach fuzz hair you can see that i'm being very very gentle with my face and with the movement of my hair with the movement of my razor sorry so that i don't have any cuts on my face this side of our face is completely done i don't go Uh, very close to my eye or i even don't uh, do it on my forehead because i get my eyebrows and forehead thread so we are done with removing our facial hair it was that easy and that quick before ending this video i just want to discuss some do's and don'ts so starting with the do's do exfoliate your hand your body well before you get any method of hair removal done do a patch test and see which method suits you the best third is that if you are getting waxing done please sit in a air conditioned room because uh, when you get yourself waxed your body tends to produce some heat due to which you start sweating so keep yourself away from the heat by using an air conditioner do apply ice so that there are no rashes on your face and if you have a gel like aloe gel or bamboo gel apply a thick layer of that minimize your routine and apply an spf now coming to don'ts please do not wear tight clothes when you get your hair removed do not go for gymming or swimming for two days uh, swimming any which way due to covid 19 we won't be going also reduce your workout sessions because your pores are open and you might harm them by working out don't remove your hair on the places where you have cuts or bruises also for acne prone people if you have an active acne on your face try to avoid shaving or removing your hair off from that part of your face try not to use soap on your body i hope this video of mine was helpful for you and i have covered all the points that i could have covered also before i forget bleaching and hair removal creams are something that i would never recommend anyone to use 
Without making this video any further longer or any more informative, I would just request you all to like, share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.